Hello friends, in this video I want to show you how to install the RG3 and how to work with these nodes because uh, it's very important to install and use these nodes in your workflow. They are very unique and useful. Also, uh, if you check my YouTube video and YouTube channel, you can see a new playlist with the name of Comfy UI Ultimate Guide Series. Uh, now I'm trying to record some videos and explain everything in depth. The first video was published last night and it's about uh, two hours. You can find many useful information about the stable diffusion and comfy UI. Uh, so for example, for the first time, I tried to make a 3D model of the unit. For example, here, this is a 3D model of a unit. Uh, and I show that how the unit is working and it's it's very visual it's not something technical and it can help you to understand that how the stable diffusion is working so if you are interested please watch this video and also let me know after watching this video you can watch the rg3 node uh, and also I have explored many deep concepts about the scheduler, samplers, and many other parameters. So please watch the videos and let me know what is your idea. And let's get a start to the RG3. I'm going to install custom node and search for RG3. Okay, here I have the RG3 and I will install that. Just you have to click on install. It will download the file from the internet. And after that, you should restart your Comfy UI. Okay, click on restart, click on OK, and wait for your Comfy UI being restart. Okay, the Comfy UI is restarted. The first thing that you can see here is a bar on top of your screen and after that if you right click and click to add notes here you can see a new menu with the name of rg3 and also here you can see many different notes before diving into rg3 settings let me show you some other concept you know if you make a copy from the notes and you can paste them and also you can make some changes in them and for example you can set up different sampler schedule or every other thing okay uh, and also if you want to move some notes together and keep your work for organized you can right click add a group define a group name for your group for example okay and also go to edit color and define a color for your node and after that you can now when you are moving a group also your nodes will be move. Uh, now the group is bigger than my node. If I right click on the group and select fit group to node, the group size will be automatically fit in my nodes. And also if I select some nodes, after that press right click on an empty area of the screen, I can select another parameter with the name of add group for select node and automatically it can create a group for these nodes. Now inside the group, if you right click, you can select bypass group node and all the nodes inside the group will be bypass. And if you select the set group nodes to always, they will be active. Also, if you select set group node to never, they will be mute and you know the difference what's between the mute and bypass. For example, you can mute the nodes at the end of the workflow, but in the middle of the workflow, you cannot mute nodes. All right, now after installing the RG3, if you right click, you can see 
a menu with RG3 and you can go to setting from here okay you can active this option and also you can set the when show to always and press save and now always you can see two new icon on top of the group okay the first one will mute them the second one will be bypass them another lovely feature after installing the rg3 is this option for example this is the save image node and if you right click you can find this parameter q selected output normally if i press q prompt after that it will generate all the samplers in my workflow and maybe it will take some time for me for generating all of them and for example after doing some changes only you want to execute one of this sampler so in this case instead of pressing the Q from here you can select the output node right click and press Q selected and after that you can see that the only thing that will be processed are the nodes that are connected to this output node so Q selected output is one of the best features that will come with RG3 another note that is very useful is RG3 image compare okay so you can connect two images and after that you can right click on the node and press Q selected okay it will load both two image inside and after that you can compare the image with this slider also there is one another node that is very useful and the name of that is switch any or any switch okay for adding this node you should double click on the screen and after that write any and after that you can find any switch by default i am not sure why i can't find the any switch here okay but uh, if you write the name after that you can add the note here and how it's work you can connect any kind of data and now please take a look the output has a star okay so it's something like a primitive node and it can accept any kind of data format for input and output but after you are sending the first input the output format will be defined so now only i can connect the images okay so let me do that okay now i'm connecting four different images and here i have only one output so let me make a preview press right click on the preview image and this is my preview and this is the first one so if I mute the first image and again press the preview it will show the second input and you can see it will check the input nodes so if the node is muted after that it's trying to load another node so it's the rule and it's starting from top to bottom so if you mute the first one at first you can see the first input so to get the best result it's better to mute all input that are connected to the any switch and only unmute one of them so by unmuting you can define that it will be your active output and you can uh, use the any switch between any kind of nodes it's extremely useful imagine that you have uh, multiple case samplers okay but you are fine you are looking for a solution to use same amount of step cfg or sampler for 
these samplers okay so in this case rg3 has a node that can help you and it's extremely useful with the name of case sampler config and you can find some parameters like a step cfg sampler name and scheduler all in one simple space so for example if you convert widget to input and after that select seed uh, cfg oh, excuse me not about the seed cfg steps sampler and scheduler okay after that you can connect the step to a step cfg to cfg sampler to sampler and scheduler to scheduler and also if you are using the k sampler advance after that you can connect the refine step so if you have some different case sampler all of them can read the setting from this node also most of the times i am using the seed node from rg3 because it has some different option at first it can extract the last seed that was in the queue and also it can make some random number for me and it's very fun and easy to control the seed during the processing i made this workflow all with rg3 nodes and i like most of them so the most important part is this uh, reroute okay and how it works for example you want to connect this uh, output to some input and if you drag after releasing you can find some uh, parameter or node from here but also you have another solution when you are dragging and before releasing the left click press shift and R on your keyboard and after that automatically a reroute from RG3 will be created okay this is a reroute from RG3 and it has uh, some difference between normal reroute so when you're pressing shift shift and R it will add new reroute if you press shift and d okay you can see the position of the output will be different so for example you can select the node and press shift and d and you can see the output position will be different if you press shift and s the input position will be different by pressing shift a both input and output and the output will be rotate if you right click on a node and go to property panel after that you can find some setting about the node also by clicking by pressing right click and press on node help you can find the shortcuts that you can use for this node the other best feature is bookmark you will define the shortcut and whenever you press the shortcut you will jump to the bookmark node and it's very useful also here i have a lora loader from rg3 and it can load any kind of lora and after that you can add just the string of each lora you can load up to four lora with this node and it's very useful after that here i have another node from rg3 and with this node you can define some preset for the latent dimension and also it has another option with clip scale uh, with sdxl um, actually we should process the prompts in the clip with some other information like clip scale and it's useful if you want to work with stxl but actually based on my I, my based on my experience it doesn't have a very great impact maybe five or six percent improvement after that you have another node uh, from rg3 
for writing your positive prompt okay uh, you can write your positive prompt in two parts in the first part you can describe your prompt as a sentence and in the second part you can add some keywords that are describing your prompt uh, after that you can add a LoRa to your prompt for example these kind of LoRa should be graphical and uh, LoRa's that are transferring some effect or design style and also you can add embedding to your prompt and it will be easy by this note and this note is um, for writing negative prompt and it doesn't have any area for adding the LoRa only you can add embedding because in the negative prompt you can't add any LoRa Another useful note is label. Okay, you can see these texts in my workflow. If you double click on them, you can find information in property panel, title, font size, font family, color, text alignment, and some other option. And if you uh, go to RG3, after that, you can add label. Okay, and write your text here and for example increase the font size or send the font color here so also this note is very helpful for organizing your workflow another note that also is very useful is context big okay you can send all of your parameters for generating image into the context big and after that it can send one output okay for example this is the output and if you add another context big node okay you can connect the output from here and now you can extract any of these nodes only from this simple pipe or from this simple line so it's very useful for making huge workflow and after that easily you can minimize that and here is the sample that i made uh, and for example with this setting i will be able to easily to switch between stxl prompting or st 1.5 because the clip text encoder is different between these two versions and what I did here okay let me show you here I sent the context with the pipe to here I connect necessary parts to my nodes and after that again I reassemble the context okay and please take a look <coughs> First, I connect the context from incoming node to outgoing and after that I edited some nodes here. So again, the output of this context will be with this change. So I can make edit and I can change the context by opening the context making change and closing the context so this is the node that can open the context these are for changing the context and this node is for closing and sending the context finally here i have a switch and it can switch between the node that is on or off also here Oh, it's very also here you you know that easily I can mute or bypass the note by only clicking on the group finally you can download the workflow from my patron it's free for all members uh, and you can explore how to connect these nodes together and until the next video bye